Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are come with a question that is whether our hand bones are 27 or 29. I am Ujwala and welcome to our channel UM Science. The question is very easy but the answer is little longer. Before calculating about the bones whether they are 27 or 29 first we need to answer that which bones are there exactly and whether they are united or separated and how to calculate the total number of 27 or 29 see in this picture it is the real hand bone skeletal area this piece shows that from the lower area the first bone up to the upper area that is the 27 total bones are shown over here and 28 29 will be discussed afterwards so in this picture you can be clear that 27 bones are there along with our fingers and whole palm and wrist area now let us solve our question that which bones are they actually so in this picture the color difference is given just for your information and better understanding the upper area that is our finger area it is called phalanges and they consider total 5 hand and consist of total 14 bones and which are the name will be shown afterwards after this phalanges we have another 5 bones known as metacarpals this metacarpal bone is inside our palm area so we may not be able to observe it clearly but at the upper side of our hand if we open and close our hand we may be able to observe them so total they are five in number as we have five fingers and at the wrist area which is very smaller area but they consist total eight bones and they are called carpals now in the phalanges area they have three bones the upper thing is a distal phalanges the middle area is called middle phalanges and the lower is called proximal phalanges we all can feel that our finger is divided into three parts so all these three parts is called middle distal and proximal part and this is how we have total 14 phalanges bone how we have four fingers so it is four into three total 12 but our thumb is considered only three area is not present the upper is known as distal phalange and the lower is called proximal phalange the middle bone is totally absent so this is how total 14 phalanges are there now time come about the middle area that is the metacarpal as we have one two three four and five fingers so total five fingers connected with metacarpals after that the lower area that is carpals the first bone which is beneath the thumb area is called trapezium the second bone is called trapezoid remember the name third bone after this middle finger area is capitate fourth is hamate fifth one is fusiform then a smaller bone between these two is triquatral two bones at the base area to connect our radius and ulna with this bone is called lunate and scaphoid so this is how total 8 carpal bones are there. So this is how total 14 phalanges, 5 metacarpals and 8 carpal makes 27 bone. This is not the end. Only up to the wrist area where we have 27 bones, what about 28 and 29? Before that, remember that our full hand is connected with our body with the help of what to the thoracic main cage it is called shoulder bone the shoulder bone is only there which is little larger in size as compared to the other hand portion which is connected with our thoracic area it is primarily connected with humerus which is a heavier and longer bone humerus is not directly connected with our hand they require two bones named radius and ulna they together connect with our hand and our hand we have just discussed consists of 27 bone and this two bone that is radius and ulna together makes 29 bones so if the question arise about 
only up to the wrist area how many bones are there in hand it is 27 with the full hand because up to the wrist area we cannot ever move we are not able to move our hand properly because if there is no radius ulna bone hand is not able to work so total it is called 29 bone where radius and ulna are included but if only the hand bone up to the wrist area they are 27 one more small information for you that at the area from where we are moving our hand that is the wrist area it is connected with two bones radius and ulna both radius and ulna are not connected with the carpal only radius is in direct connection with the carpal so this connection or this joining is called radio carpal joint along with that the bottom two bones that is radius and ulna are also connected with each other and this connection is called radio ulnar joint so there are two joints are also present in our hand area and this is also included inside our hand bone area so this is for your information so now the question is clear that up to the wrist area they are 27 and if we include ulnar and radius it is 29 so it is it so thank you very much viewers and thank you very much for viewing and listening me if you need this kind of important information regarding other bones of our body and other areas please subscribe the channel share this content with other students so they can also get the information thank you very much